Thank you for joining us today on Synthesis Workshop. My name is Saminan and I am a new editorial board member on this platform. For today's spotlight episode, it is my great pleasure to introduce Yan Chai Shu. Yan Chai Shu received his bachelor's degree in chemistry from Wuhan University. After that, he moved to Institute of Chemistry Chinese Academy of Sciences for his graduate study. During this period, his research work is focused on manganese chemistry. In 2018, he got his PhD degree in organic chemistry and right after that joined G Group for the exploration of base metal catalysis. With this, I hand it over to you, Yan Chai Shu. Thank you so much for joining and sharing your work with us today. Thanks for the invitation. I'm honored to have this opportunity to share my work. Ligand enabled stereo divergence in nickel catalyzed hydroboration of internal lines. I am Yang Xiaoxu from Koshao Zhong Group, National University of Singapore. First of all, let me briefly introduce the features of Alinst. Alinst containing two cumulative double bonds, and owing to the high reactivity of the two perpendicular double bonds, Alinst are versatile chemical reagents for organic synthesis. Take the metal catalyzed hydroboration of internal Alinst example. This reaction will give up to eight different products, four alkanyl burnets and four allyl burnet products with complicated radio and stereo selectivities. Previous work indicated that when internal lines were employed, the Z selective hydroboration product was much easier to be synthesized compared with E selective product. Here is a simplified model of this reaction. Most of the metal catalyzed hydroboration of alines proceeds via hydrometallation or boreometallation pathways. And both hydrometallation and boreometallation will occur from less stereo handled side to minimize the repulsion between the catalyst and the substrate. And the other side was blocked by the R group on the double bonds. So it's unfavorable to get E selective hydroboration product. In order to solve this problem, we come up with a new reaction pathways. Nicoaline complex and nicoolefin complex, both E and Z selective hydroboration of internal alines can be achieved, and the stereo selectivity can be tuned by the catalyst and the ligand. Here is some selected examples of the E and Z selective hydroboration reactions. When we use Eucod and DPPF, the E selective hydroboration can be achieved smoothly with high yield and stereo selectivities. And the use of DPPBZ and BINAP can give Z selective product in good yields and stereo selectivities. Next, we did a pair of gram scale experiments. And these stereo defined alkanyl burnets could undergo various transformations to yield other functionalized alkanes without loss of their stereo specificity, including proton deboration, bromination, iodation, Suzuki Miyara coupling, as addition and addition to double bonds. Therefore, these nickel catalyzed stereo divergent hydroboration reactions provide a versatile foundation to access various stereo-defined alkanyl compounds. The next and the most important part is the mechanistic studies. First of all, we want to know more about uh, the initial steps. Generally speaking, there are two possibilities. HBP is involved in the initial step to generate oxidative addition species, or alines was involved in the initial step to generate nickel-aline complex. So we conducted the reaction between HBP or aline with catalyst. As a result, HBP cannot react with the catalyst. The product of this reaction is the ligand coordinated nickel cord complex. In contrast, alines can react with catalyst to generate ligand coordinated nickel aline complex. So the possibility of HBP is involved in the initial step can be excluded. The initial step should be occurred among nickel precursor, ligand, and aline. The stoichiometric reaction of DPPBZ gave us some clues. 
The stoichiometric reaction of nickel cord and DPPBZ will give a mixture of DPPBZ nickel cord and DPPBZ to nickel, and both of them cannot react with aliens. However, in the presence of aliens, the reaction of nickel cord and DPPBZ can only give DPPBZ to nickel as a single product, which indicates that the initial step should be occurred between the nickel cord and aliens to generate nickel aline complex, which then reacts with the biphosphan ligand to generate ligand coordinated nickel aline complex. Next, we try to isolate and identify the potential nickel aline complex. The three component reaction of DPPF, nickel cord, and internal alines can give the nickel aline complex 7 in 54% isolated yield. Here is the X ray analysis structure of this complex. The X ray results show the planar structure of the nickel aline complex, and the bond length of the coordinated double bond is longer than the other double bonds. It indicates that the nickel complex was oxidized to some degree. Using the similar procedure, the binap ligated nickel aline complex 8 can also be synthesized. However, we have failed to get the single crystal of this complex. With the two well-defined nickel aline complex in hand, we next treat them with HBP. As a result, two new nickel complexes were generated, and the X-ray analysis shows that they are nickel olefin complex with a coordinated alkanyl burnate part. For DBPF ligated nickel olefin complex 9, the aryl group locates at the same side of the boreal group, but in binap ligated nickel olefin complex 10, two B group, aryl group, and boreal group locate at the different side of the double bonds. Therefore, the conversion of nickel aline complex to nickel olefin complex is the stereodetermined step of the nickel catalyzed stereodivergent hydroboration reactions. And the steric difference between DPPF and BINAP likely controls the stereochemistry of the alkanyl burnate products. Here is a simplified model of the sigma pi sigma summarization stereo determining step. The sigma metathesis of HBP with nickel aline complex will generate it one allyl nickel species. When a smaller binap ligand was used, the carbon single bond will rotate to a direction that aryl group keeps away from the boreal group to generate a new it one allyl nickel species, in which the aryl group and the boreal group locate at the different side of the double bond. In contrast, when a larger DBPF ligand was used, the carbon single bond will rotate to the opposite direction. In the new generated it one allyl nickel species, the aryl group and boreal group will locate at the same side of the double bond. We also detected the catalyst resting state of this reaction. In the reaction of internal alines and HBP catalyzed by nickel cord and binap, the binap ligated nickel olefin complex 10 was observed as a major nickel species during the reaction. So, the binap ligated nickel olefin complex can be regarded as a catalyst resting state of this reaction. In the presence of another product 2O, we monitored the reaction of internal aline with HBP catalyzed by nickel and by NAP by phosphon NMR spectroscopy. Nickel complex 10 can also be observed as a major species during this reaction, and uh, the nickel species derived from the product 2O cannot be detected, which demonstrated that after the reductive elimination step, the new generated alkanyl burnate re-coordinated with the nickel fragment immediately without the dissociation step. Next, we did a series of KIE experiments. In this reaction, we used DBPF-linked nickel aline complex as a catalyst to take the place of 
nickel precursor and uh, BPF ligand to eliminate the influence of the reaction initiation. By measuring the initial reaction rate of the internal alanes and HBP or DBP, the KIE value goes to 1.11, which indicates that the sigma metastasis of HBP with nickel aline complex should not be the rate determining step. Also, we did a series of kinetic experiments. Both of the two reactions show the first order dependence on the concentration of catalyst and zero order dependence on the concentration of aline and HBP. So, the catalyst is the only factor that can influence the rate determining step. And the nickel olefin complex can be regarded as the catalyst resting state. The rate determining step should be the dissociation of alkanium borate from nickel olefin complex to generate nickel zero fragment. So now we can give a total reaction pathway. It starts from the ligand exchange reaction of aline with cord to generate nickel aline complex, which then reacts with base phosphine ligand to generate ligand coordinated nickel aline complex. Next, take the catalytic cycle based on DBPF as an example. The sigma metastasis of HBP with nickel aline complex will generate it one allyl species through sigma pi sigma isomerization, reductive elimination, and the following re-coordination. The nickel olefin complex was generated, which can be regarded as the catalyst resting state. The following step, the dissociation of the alkanium borate from nickel olefin complex, is the rate determining step of this reaction. The new generated Nickel fragment then react with another alanes to regenerate nickel aline complex and close the catalytic cycles. In summary, in this reaction, we have reported a nickel catalyzed both E and Z stereoselective hydroboration of internal alanes and achieved the synthesis of unprecedented E selective alkanyl burnate. In order to know more about this reaction, we have proposed new reaction pathways and synthesized and identified a series of nickel aline and nickel olefin complex to prove the reaction pathways. Finally, I need to give a big thank to Prof. Ke Shodong and Dr. Yuan Chun Chen. Also, thanks all the lab members. Thanks for the invitation of Mart and Xingfeng. Thanks for your attention. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today on this Research Spotlight episode. And thank you, and Jai Shu, for this great talk. If you enjoy the episode, you can support us by subscribing and telling your peers about this podcast. Follow us on Twitter to stay up to date. And see you all in the next episode.